many years ago. This is where he housed it, where the pipe burst stand now, but where he housed it. This is a plaque that tells him about the historic explorer. Now, I'm going to get in close enough you can read it here. Uh, so you can look at it. It says here, James Ray, the Arctic Explorer. This plaque was made to the site where his resident of James R. M. D. L. D. Fred L. D. Fested and used to stand on. He was born in the Orkney Islands uh, in September 30th, 1813, and guiding in the um, medicine from Edinburgh to the um, Hudson Bay Company. And Within the join and then joined the Hudson Bay Company in 1833, where she spent many years at Moose Factory, Ontario. Now, hmm, Moose Factory, very interesting year. Look at then, when in 1846, 1854, he led the second in command of the four Arctic expedition. He traveled in a small boat, small boat. And and uh, for o over forty over three thirty thousand miles, averaging over twenty five miles a day, where he have uh, created a seventeen where he had started over seventeen thousand miles of unknown uh, car car unknown you no know, uh, catalyst between. The um, McKenzie River and the Hudson Bay, and we had attempted many. We had uh, 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 adopted many of the Inuit and Indian teaching as he traveled, as he as, as he teaching at for travel and and, and survival. In uh, 1854. He was the first explorer to bring back information about the faith of the faith of the Franklin expedition. And well, he found an 18 percent, and he was and he was a founder in in a member of the first vice president of the Hamilton Association. Uh, Assignment of uh, of the Saint Cor uh, Saint Cor uh, Limited and I know and in in the, in in the winter uh, 1859 he says he had snow had Swiss snowboard from Hamilton he had snowboarded. From Hamilton to Toronto in seven hours for a dinner with with the eleg elegant royal died in London, England, on on the 22nd of July, 1893, where he was buried in the Wall, Orkney. Now, this is a very interesting piece of Canadian heritage. They didn't mention anything on the Olympics about this or nothing. Now, how to wonder, did they mention anything about this Olympic? No. Well, I can stand here. Now the apartment building stands where his mansion stood. Today, you can stand there and I look at this. How many people know he ever did this? Very few. Today, I just brought this to life on YouTube. So, as to you, you bring to light parts of Canadian history that were glorified Olympic, I mean Olympic, this, this did were called terrible. They make a mockery of Canadian history. I mean, I couldn't, never saw anything so much mockery that I saw in Olympic. Oh, this was disgusting how much mockery they made. Oh.